Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series, What If series, Zombie Hunter Spidey. So let's go over to packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top. Logo for What If, Zombie Hunter Spidey. Here is the side art of Zombie Hunter Spidey here. Here is the back with the details here. And then we would be building Uatu where I went over Zomb Zombie Captain America, Star-Lord, Chala. Uh, Captain Carter. Now we're doing Zombie Hunter Spidey. We still need to do Superior Strange. We did Nebula and we are also, we also did Sylvia already. Here's the other side art. Here is the top with the Watchers logo. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Zombie Hunter Spidey out of package here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get the Watchers right leg, which we'll go over once we build them. We'll just throw it there. And then next we get the cloak of levitation that he gets in the zombie episode and what if so yeah you get that nice sculpt there for the cape you get this nice de detailing here on this part of the cape here you get that like little shoulder piece there and then you get these like gold detailed pieces here that kind of like clip onto them and then you get the collar here raised up with some like leather texturing look here so there's the cloak of levitation. You would just put that over him. You get two fisted hands for him. If it'll focus, camera focus, please. It's not wanting to focus him. There we go. So, yeah. I think this is a brand new hand sculpt. I'm not sure. And then you get two of those, like I said. You get a new head sculpt here for spider-man so you get the nice wide open eyes here and it's kind of like a matte red here for him so it's like a cherry red so yeah i think this is a brand new head sculpt also so yeah there's that and then that's all we got for accessories so here is spider-man zombie hunter spidey here so here is the unmasked head for peter parker it looks kind of like him um I so in the video here, you can tell that the skin tone doesn't really look well. It looks like it's kind of like zombie flesh looking, but in person it's okay. So I don't know if it's just a light messing with it or something, but yeah, the hair looks all good. Uh, it kind of matches the uh, animation look with Spider-Man uh, episode. And then here is his suit. So this is based off of like the Disneyland uh, suit. Uh, because of that copyright thing uh, so they couldn't use like the homecoming or far from home suit from the spider-man movies because copyright sony so yeah i like the sculpt here it kind of matches well with the disneyland suit so you get the line here you get some web shooter cartridges here that are painted silver <laughs> Then you get this silver web shooters for him, which I do have uh, have those actually from Disneyland. I didn't go to Disneyland; I just bought them. So, and then you get whipping hands for him. They're kind of soft for the fingers here for him. Then you get the big spider logo here with some dirt looking there. And here's the back with the big red spider logo here. You get some black stripes going around through the other side of the arms and then the back and then you get some more dirt on the thigh here or blood i'm not quite sure it looks like it's reddish but on the camera it looks like it's dirt so uh this knee joint looks a little loose and you get you still got pin joints here for him uh whereas the arms you get pinless joints and you get the black stripes here on the boots and then you get the regular spider-man cobwebbing design for him i wish they painted the cobwebbing still you get some dirty bottom shoot uh, the boots there so yeah it's a pretty cool looking figure let's go over the articulation so he has a disc ball joint head here so you can look down that far up that far left and right a little hip hitting there shoulders can move out this far 360 rotation he does not have a butterfly joint so that's surprising for me Bicep swivel, double jointed knee, elbows, wrists can hinge down that far, 
up that far, 360 rotation. Also, I'm not quite sure if the web shooters are removable. Nope, looks like they're glued on there, so they're not removable. And then you also got ab crunch for him, so you can go forward that much, backwards that much. He has waist swivel, 360 rotation there. Legs can kick out just that far. Forward that far, backwards a little bit, thigh cut, double jointed knees. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. And here is the mass zombie hunter spidey here. And to pound the cloak of levitation, you basically just kind of like lay it right on top of his shoulders there. And that's what he looks like. But yeah, I think this is a really cool figure. Um, the one thing that kind of disappoints me is that it's not really articulated through, I guess, the arms and the legs don't want to kick out so much so you can't get him in a really dynamic poses really that much. So... Uh, the, head, the sculpting and paint, I like a lot. Matches well with the animation uh, style from the show. So, yeah, I can't really say anything bad, bad about paint or anything like that. This has I wish they did paint the cobwebbing. Um, but, yeah, I really like the design of the suit. Um, like I said, I like the little details that they have for, like, the dirtiness for him. So, like, he yeah, has, like, dirty, it, like, dirt at the bottom of the feet there. Uh, it looks like he has some blood there on the thighs, like I said, so it's really, they did a decent job on the detailing for this figure. And I like the fact that they added the cloak of levitation there, and spoiler for, uh, the zombie what if episode, but if they gave us, like, an extra, uh, accessory with a Scott Lang head sculpt, we could probably just put that on top, that would've been cool. Uh, because in the episode, he wore this for, like, maybe, like, I want to say, like, for a couple seconds but besides that i think this is a really cool look um but yeah that's all i got for this uh figure um i would do recommend you get him because like i said it's gonna be hard to find and it's spider-man figures so yeah um so yeah if you guys want to check out my link tree in the description it has my tiktok twitch instagram and twitter all that stuff is on there so make sure you guys go ahead and check those out if you want to support me on those platforms but besides that thanks for watching